guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel. So our Geek Fuel arrived really early again this month, I think it did last month too, which is kind of weird because we had all those boxes that arrived late, so it's weird that this one got here early. But we're going to see what's inside of this. Again, there's no themes for Geek Fuel. I wish there were because I like their box, so I wish there was some sort of theme. But they don't got so let's see what we got inside anyways. Of course we have our book here, and it's got Rocket and Gru on the front. So, of course, we'll look at that at the end. We have... I don't know what these have to do, but we got two of them. But it's a one-night-only Demogorgon versus Gelatinous Cube. I think that 20 rounds of it. Venue Castle Greyhawk. And it's for Dungeons & Dragons. So, again, I don't know what these are supposed to be. We got two of the exact same ones. Um, I don't know. I know it's just obviously got uh, Dungeon and Dragons creatures on it. Stuff has like a um, fighting round, like boxing type thing and stuff. But I don't know what this has to do with thing. But that's what we have the book for. Hopefully it'll explain and they're not just some thrown in items and stuff like that. But we will start with this. And it looks like we got a pop in this box. It's been a, I don't know if we've ever gotten a pop or it's been a while at least since we got a pop out of this. But it is from Family Guy and it is Stewie with the ray gun. So this is... Um, I haven't watched Family Guy in forever. We, we used to watch it all the time, but I remember uh, he did the stuff where he went inside Peter and met his brother or whatever, Stewie's potential brother, and he was in like the um, X-Wing type thing, and he was dressed in this kind of outfit with the pilot's helmet on and stuff, and he has, the, of course, his ray gun, like I said. Um, but we got a little Stewie. Um, like I said, I haven't watched Family Guy in forever. I'm not a huge fan of it. I enjoyed the show years ago. Um, so, of course, we don't have any of the pops. So, this is something new for us. So, I may have to add it to the shelf back here if I can get the fit anywhere and stuff. So, that's kind of cool, though, that we got a pop out of it. And it's something new, at least. So, that's awesome. Next up, we have, looks like a pencil bag, which is kind of stupid, but I like the stuff that's on it. So, it's got a bunch of, like, old uh, comics. Uh, covers on it and stuff like that. So of course we have Hulk, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and it looks like that's about it. Iron Man if I didn't say that. Um, but yeah, I assume this is just a pencil bag. doesn't say anything. And we got styrofoam on the inside. I can't believe it. But anyways, yeah. So it's just an empty bag, the little thing. Like I said, well, obviously... I have no use for it, but I still like the design on it. Like, I saw it in the box, I thought it hope was hoping to be something really cool. But it, like I said, just like a pencil bag thing. But anyways, moving on. Next up, we have our shirt for the month. And let's see what we got on. Oh, it looks like Dungeon Dragons, because it got the logo. So it's got the Demogorgon of Brine Flats, I think that's what this is. And so it looks really cool. Like, they look like, uh... Baboons. Baboons, yeah. Um... So I know that the yeah, Demogorgon is a thing from Dungeons and Dragons, at least from this, not the Stranger Things um, name and stuff. But I don't know. It looks like baboon heads on like a almost like a Hydra body or something like that. I don't know, but there's like tentacles or tails or something. I don't know exactly what's going on there. But it's a cool shirt, and of course, how I knew is it has the and sign there, the Dungeon and Dragon sign there on the back. So that's pretty cool. I'll probably wear that, even though I don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons. Um, next up we have our steam code and this is for Kaiju Panic. So it looks like a little, you have a bunch of little figures there. But it's called Kaiju Panic. Of course this is our steam code with a game we need to play. And I have all these um, held together and I need, want to do videos on them just to like test them out and play them. But I always forget to do it. And you've got to have the time and stuff. But it looks kind of cool. Kind of like monsters maybe that be, maybe in the like, uh, uh, Godzilla era and stuff like that, or whatever. But it looks kind of cool, kind of fun. I may have to try that, though. And then we have our pin for the month, which, of course, is our last item. And this time, it looks like G.I. Joe characters, and we got Cobra Commander. Yeah, Constrictor Commander is what it's called for this one. Includes Serpent Staff in the box there. It's kind of all sideways tilted. That's there cool. we go. And then we could have got, of course, Constriction Commander or Constrictor Commander. Um, Destroyed and Serpent Emperor, which is the rare one. We never get any of the rare ones, but all those look cool. And again, I love these pins so much. They're so cool. Like, I really want to take them out of the box so I just have the pin, but then the boxes are so cool and stuff that they're all awesome. And I just want to keep them off. I don't know what to do. 
But now we have our um, little pamphlet thing here. Of course, we have the pins that we just went over. You could get the you could get the rare one of the Emperor, whatever. The Kaiju download Steam game. Um, the Marvel Heroes Power Pouch is what this is called. Um, Multi-use powerful zip or powerful zip-up pouch featuring comic strips. Okay, so this one has um, like a bunch of different comics. Looks like there's a Hulk one, Iron Man. Um, Spider-Man, and then one that has just actual characters and not like a whole bunch of characters and not comics. So like I said, not going to be of any use, so it doesn't really matter. I got that. And then we have, of course, the Stewie Pop, which we could have got um, this one with the ray gun or um, Stewie holding on to his little bear. Rupert, I think, is the bear, if I remember right. Um, so yeah, you could have got either one of those. And then, of course, we have the Demogorgon shirt on the back. So that is it for the items in the box. So let's look at the through the magazine here real quick. Um, oh, we have a missing persons. Rupert sign there. Let's see, we got stuff on Guardians, which was an awesome movie. You can see our review if you didn't see that already. Of course, Dungeon and Dragons. So there's a better picture of like the Demogorgon up there or whatever. The little baboon thing. So it looks like showing different pictures of what it's looked like. Uh, what is this? Oh, that looks like, there's some weird games on here for PS4, um, Xbox, and uh, the Switch. So the PS4 one, it's called Birthdays, The Beginnings, and it's got dinosaurs and animals and stuff, and it looks kind of cool. But it's for PS4. And then, of course, Injustice 2, which a video is just going out on the day of this recording, so be sure to watch that if you haven't. Then we got Kaju Panic there, the game that we got for our Steam code. And we have our Ultimate Geek guys as usual with all sorts of cool gifts that you can buy oh well there's a cubone skull I want that it's a 3d printed cubone skull which is cool oh what else do we got and then we got pictures which again we're probably not going to be in since we were in a few months ago but there's all the people with their pictures and all that sort of stuff so that's going to be it for this box bro what was your favorite mind out of this box uh, probably the pin. Yeah, that's what it probably is. Um, I'd say probably pin too. This wasn't the best box, but the items are still cool. Like, I like the pop. I mean, it's, even though it's Family Guy that I don't really care that much about, but it's, it's still something cool. And like I said, I'll put it on the shelf back here. Um, the shirt, again, don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, but I really like the design on the shirt and stuff. The only thing out of this box I don't care for is this pencil pouch, because I feel that's, I mean, I know it says multi-purpose pouch, but still anything like this it's you usually either got stuff like pencils and stuff for school or makeup and i don't have either one of those to use it for so um I'm that's not, kind of a waste but i'm not gonna lie when you said there was a pop in there i was kind of hoping with the littlest bit of my heart that it was going to be a mary poppins oh. pop no no mary poppins we got to do um, but that's it for this unboxing. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up, leave any comments you have down below, and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we will see you next time.